So this is going to be uh, high air speed, low ground speed, got the wind up pretty high, not enough to actually get us to lift off vertically, can't get enough wind in this particular simulator to do that, but uh, we should be able to pick up very, very quickly and remain almost stationary over the ground once, uh, once we're in the air. So putting the power forward now. Get going. You'll see here the airspeed is rocketing up, even though we're not going particularly fast over the ground. And we're already lifting off now. There we are. Let's lower the speed a bit, lower the power. Get us to slow down. And we'll be able to almost maintain a hover in a plane just because of the amount of uh, wind over the wings. Let's keep it slowing down further and further and further. And we're pretty much stationary, as you can see. That's a bit of uh, high air speed, low ground speed, although we're drifting now. But you get the idea. Beautiful. So this time the wind is behind us. Uh, so this is going to be high ground speed, very low airspeed. Last time the uh, the airspeed here rocketed up and we took off pretty much by uh, that white line there. Um, this time I expect it's going to be very, very slow to creep up and we're going to need to use almost the whole runway to take off, effectively like the conveyor belt. And what that's going to do is... Uh, we will take off, uh, I'm pretty sure of that, but... Uh, it's just trying to sort of show the uh, show the science behind it, so to speak. Let's start our takeoff roll. You see, the airspeed isn't even reacting at this point. You know, we're we're travelling along a fair bit, but. Uh, it's not actually, no, it's just coming to life now. So, about 100 knots we'd be able to take off, but as you can see we're needing a lot, lot more runway before we can even think about pulling back on the stick. And we're running out of runway at the end here and I'm struggling to gain lift. Just about made it. That about explains it, I hope. <laughs> 